How stiff, sore? What was it like to come back after I've been eating yesterday morning? <laughs> it's a little bit different today. A little bit different. It's all right, though. It's whatever. I feel good enough to play, so uh, no, that's fine. It's, uh, it's part of it's part of the getting back and the getting back in shape. And um, you know, my body's a little bit sore, but you know, it's whatever. No one cares. You'd been practicing. You'd been working on shooting. You'd been working on stuff. Did you expect to be able to shoot like that at game speed? Yeah, so quickly. I, that's how I work. I don't work at nothing but game speed. And you know, as you plan on coming back, you gotta work at game speed. It's no, I uh, take this one dribble slow. It's about working at game speed, and you know that's how you continue to get better. And uh, for me, I just you know I always work at game speed and try to work at game speed and game positioning. So I mean, I knew I would be. I, I didn't think I would play that well, but mm -hmm. you know we won the game. I just helped my team win, so it worked out. You had a chance, I presume, to look at some of the tape. And, and were there any of those lineups or any of those uh, possessions with the new guys that went a little differently? A couple or? of them. Nothing yeah. crazy. A couple of possessions where, you know, me and Serge communication and uh, me and PJ. But it was all just communication. It wasn't nothing where it was like you missed the assignment. No, it was just like, all right, this is where, where we want to do and this is where it was going to be. So, like, one offensive possession and two defensive possessions. But other than that, it, it was – it was pretty good. Is that because most things are basically simple? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, like I said, they were going to make the adjustments, and it was just about talking. It's not about, you know, this is that, this is that. It's not, you know, rocket science. How much did watching them kind of prepare you for what they would do, like habits and stuff like that? I mean, I've been playing. I've known Tuck since 2004, so mm -hmm. I've watched him a long time. And watching Sir playing against Serge his first whatever years he's been in the league, um, so you know what they can do. You know their strengths, you know their weaknesses, and then you know we played against them a couple of times already this year. So um, it's not hard to figure it out, and it's you know watching them from up close is, is definitely not hard to see what they're strong at and what they do best. You've seen Demar become far better facilitator and passer in the last six weeks, three months. I mean, what have you seen in his game this year? Um, I mean, as every year Demar just seems to grow and uh, continue to get better. At the end of the day, he's always going to. To, to continue to try to be a better player, and every year he just uh, he gets better, and you know he's just more. Uh, I think two years ago he was becoming a better passer, and then last year you know we needed him to score more. This year we need him to score early, early. But then when I went out, we need him to pass. So he's just evolving and being able to make plays and, and score at the same time. How much easier does it make for guys on the court with him? Say that one more time. How much, how much easier does it make for guys on the floor when he's in that kind of? Oh, no, I, I mean, I I rather than be aggressive and looking to score and then make plays from there. Um, when he's looking to score, everything else opens up. So I mean, for him, he's fifth in the leading scorer in the league. So for him to make plays, it comes easy after he's trying to score. What's different about this team now for you since the acquisitions? And now that you're a part of it and you've kind of seen what the options are. Um, I, I mean, it's, we're a good team. We just got to play together. You know, there's nothing like crazy different. It's, we're a better team. We have Serge that's going to shoot the ball at a high level. Um, PJ is going to shoot the ball at a high level. Um, those guys are going to be really talkative defensively and more, um, you know, we're going to be more ferocious as a, as a group defensively. Hopefully, mm -hmm. that's what we can bring and, and that's what those guys can bring to us. Is there anything specific you, uh, you're you hoping to get done here over the next three games? It's just a matter of getting reps? Just making sure my body doesn't hurt after games and taking care of my body and um, that's it just make sure my body is prepared for playing 40 minutes a night 30 whatever it is just making sure my body's ready to, to take on that toll a lot of times or the last couple of years this time of year you've been kind of coasting into the playoffs your seed's been secure is it a little uh, with you being off so long is it kind of good do you feel a little more excited about the, the well, three games you do have left it's funny me we coached we talked about this early in the year like these last we can't do that. We had to play and, you know, no coast of just, you know, maybe a game or whatever. But it's, it's really good to play. And for me, it's just we, we decided that we were going to play no matter what this time of the year and just go out there. And we felt like the last two years we started off in the playoffs slower because we, you know, we didn't play and, and go to the ball to the wall, you know, from the, the, the last couple of games. Do you recall the East being this wide open at this point in the season at any point during? We still got to beat, beat, beat Cleveland. Any chance. So it ain't, it ain't open until somebody knocks the champs off. You, but you haven't seen any, like they, defensively, they've been a different team this year. Do you think that there's a vulnerability there that's I, changed? I, I don't watch them to figure no. out what they're doing defensively or offense. I watch us and mm -hmm. worry about us. You know, honestly, I don't, you know, I watch them games. I love watching them play, but I don't look at their schemes and what they're doing. I just watch basketball and just like it in general. I don't believe that you don't watch percentages. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you and all look behind you in the standings to see what's going on. No, I mean, you watch the games. Right now is that time of the year where you, you're watching it a little bit closer to see what's going on, but you can't really predict what you want to happen or say what you want to happen. At the end of the day, you've got to be happy to get in the playoffs and then get better and continue to work and worry about what happens once seeding is set. You know, I think last year we did a good job of just kind of not worrying about who we played, what seeding we did, and where we got to. We just went out there and played. Two years ago, maybe not so much. Everyone wanted to play a team that swept us. So I, I, I personally, I was like, right, we just got to play anybody. It don't matter. And, you know, everybody, media, you guys, everybody said, oh, you can and see what happened. But now I think last year, we, that, we learned our lesson. Go out there and you play how, whatever, whatever the seeds may fall, you play. I mean, you've seen this a couple times, Indiana playing for its life. You have Miami neck yeah. and neck to make the playoffs. Yeah. How do you come up in the first quarter yeah. against a team like that? And play. Because we're, we're playing for something. We're playing to get better. We're playing to go out there and, and to attack and to get our team ready to go into the long run. Um, you know, we, we still have you know, me personally, I have a lot to get better at and, and continue to grow on. And as a team, we got to just go out there. We got a lot of things to clean up and get better at. How ambitious can you be with this team now? Mm -hmm. We'll see. <laughs>